last night. 19-year-old Zion Williamson in the house and ready to go for the first time in an NBA regular season game. And Jan will pick it up right away with a nice dish. Excited to see the young man back out on the floor. Really unselfish player is going to give you effort plays. It was good, good to see him out there early. He struggled the first three quarters. Five points, four rebounds, four turnovers until the fourth quarter started. That's right. And again, they're playing him in spurts. He played four minutes in the first quarter. Comes back, start of the second quarter. And here, Jay Will, we will see his first NBA bucket. Again, working hard inside. These are all the intangibles that you love about Zion Williamson. He just works hard. He's relentless pursuit of the basketball. Jalen said it. Two points, eight minutes in the first half. And you're thinking, okay, going to be a, a quiet debut. We'll work his way into it here. And the third quarter, Jalen and he also had some issues with turnovers. One of the better things about his game is actually his handle and his ability to pass and set up teammates, but he did struggle. And he got to get the San Antonio Spurs D a lot of credit. So after the third quarter, Alvin Gentry, the coach, comes over and does that typical interview, and he was confident that things were going to get going. Oh, he's going to be fine. Right now, he's just playing so conservative. He won't play that way. I'm not worried about him. We'll get him where he needs to be. Oh, boy, did they ever. Zion would listen and immediately taking over. Jay Will, you pointed out this play earlier. Look and get up for the rebound. I mean, it's over a guy who's 7-1, and then this is why he's a point center. Look at the vision that he has overall, hitting each one more in stride for an easy layup. He had three assists on the night, but look, look at that. Jay Will, look at him get up. Give me that. But that's the type of effort play I'm talking about to get himself going, Greening. Before you know it, he gets an assist. He starts feeling good about his game. And then all of a sudden, it's a heat check, Matt Barnes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're feeling good. I think the fact that he's already taking these shots. They know throughout all his career he's going to be dared to shoot and the ability to step up his first game and willingness to take the shots is going to make him scary. That was him from the outside. Then here's him from the inside. So he's got five points in 30 seconds and he's warming up. Next possession. Open for a reason. Jalen. Absolutely open for a reason. But the problem is that's the weakest part of his game. Yet since he's been out he's clearly been working on it. Made four threes on the night. Look at him again here. Hustle. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Gets his own board. That's Ten straight points for Zion in four possessions. And here comes three more. I never thought I'd see a game where Zion would score over 20 without getting a dunk. Mm. He made four straight three, scored 17 straight points yeah, in the fourth quarter. Three. Here are the 17, <laughs> knocking three. it down. Four out of four from three-point range. And then, to the dismay of literally everyone, they take him out of the game. <laughs> Following doctor's orders, he comes out, they lose the lead, and they fall. Here's his coach on the way they played it last night and all the things he saw. I think you got to be smart about it, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sean wouldn't take Drew Brees out in that situation, okay? But I think we've got to be smart about it. I think we understand that uh, we have to look long-term and not, you know, one game, short-term, put him out there and play him extended minutes, you know, so... Uh, we were not going to do that in any situation. How difficult was it when you kind of found that rhythm to not be able to, to stay in, knowing that long term it may have been a better decision? Uh, it's very hard. Uh, you know, I'm 19, honestly. In that moment, I'm not thinking about longevity. I'm thinking about winning that game. So it's very, it was very tough. Me personally, I didn't want any restriction. But you know, I'm not a doctor or a trainer, so... I just got to listen to them. Genuinely feel bad for the kid in that situation. He had just five points in his first 15 minutes. And then again, the 17 points in a three-minute stretch Incredible. to close things out, including four of four from three. That fourth quarter, Jalen Rose, as you're watching it go down, as you're seeing what Zion brings to the table in the NBA, making his debut, what are your thoughts? Well, I appreciate the fact that the weakest part of his game has been his three-point shot. And they were daring him to shoot. And they were losing the game. So they needed that 17-point run. <laughs> they needed all four of those three-point shots. And gaining that level of confidence from the outside, because we all know this, if he don't make three-point shots, it's over. it's over for him driving to the basket and dunking on everybody. So for him to score the way he did and not get a dunk, it was really impressive. If he remains healthy, Jalen Rose, are you starting to feel it? Are you starting to feel it a little oh, bit? Man. Are you starting? Wait, wait, wait. Brandon Ingram, he was 6 of 22 last night on 22 points. They have a good game. Drew Holiday. But if they start to hit on all cylinders, if he's able to play in those kind of bursts, tell me you don't think they have a good chance for the 8 seed. So this is a typical multimedia national thing. <laughs> they lost the game, Jim. I understand. So did the Clippers last night. <laughs> but, 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 so wait, a lot wait. of teams in the Western but Conference. Wait. If he plays, Come on, man. if they are able to extend out his minutes, and that is obviously the overwhelming if in this circumstance, 
If he plays that whole game, they win that no, game. Let me bring you in on the inside yeah. joke right. or a bet. Yeah. I bet both of them that the Pelicans weren't making the playoffs. Correct. That's what this that, is that, about. That's what the, yes. they, have, they have too many teams to leapfrog. Okay. And one of those three and a half games out of eighth place. Three and a half out of eighth. But I think if they can get him to the 25-minute per game mark, I think that's going to be an efficient enough minutes at this point to make a, a real effect on the game. Until he gets there, it's going to be kind of up and down. But three and a half with four teams in front of him, and I had them scratching the surface at eight. Fair. Mm. But let's not have to play four-minute bursts. No. You know, indefinitely. So, as they sort of work his way back into it, are you encouraged? Do you think that he is able, with whatever it is we saw last night, and Jay Will just did a great touch screen where all this idea about him landing on two feet and all that, it's not possible. You cannot retrain a person to jump at the age of 19. He's a brilliant athlete. He's either going to stay healthy or he's not. Are you optimistic? I, I'm extremely encouraged. It's, it's so very tough to live up to the hype. This guy's the number one overall pick. We circled the date that he was going to return. Cameras following this guy from shoot around to pregame, watching him walk, watching him <laughs> warm up, watching him get ready to play his first game. Struggled, had five turnovers going into the fourth quarter. But to have a level of poise to score 17 straight points when he's making four three point shots in a close game versus the San Antonio Spurs, that's extremely impressive. His conditioning and his rehab need to become everything to him, 24-7. Like, I wouldn't tell Zion Williamson at All-Star break, go on vacation, go relax a little no. bit. No, you stay in New Orleans, you do conditioning, you get shots up. I, I think that's the next state for him because he needs to find that rhythm and build that rhythm into the way well, he plays. Well, let's keep in mind that, you know, as former players, we know these guys <clears throat> These guys are in midseason form. He's in probably less than preseason form. And for him to be able to come out and do that against San Antonio on the biggest stage, as Jalen explained, with all the hype, it, it, it really talks to his confidence and what kind of psyche and what kind of ki uh, player this kid's going to be. So, like I said, with time, with rhythm, as long as he stays healthy, it's going to be scary. And, and also, like, at 19 years old, he's more mature than I ever was. Oh, no question. Mm -hmm. What about his, like, discipline and his demeanor, how he approaches his teammates, how he approaches being coached, how he's able to articulate himself to the media? That That's something that is bigger than basketball. Jay used to say this to me all my time my rookie years. Like, Yo, Jay, just get in where you fit in. Get in where you fit in. That's, that line is perfect for Zion. He doesn't need to dominate the ball. He had 22 points just off rhythm. Right. He, and he came back. He hasn't really? played with Drew Holiday. Right. He hasn't played with Derek uh, you know, Cousins and these guys. Like, he doesn't, Derek Favors, excuse me. Like, he, he's just finding that rhythm for the first time. Well, and you mentioned <clears throat> his work on the jump shot, and he said it, uh, we heard him say it in our earlier hour, how when you can't move around as much, you're going to just work on what you can work on. I think what people don't know all the time about Zion, because we see the flashy plays, we talk about his health, he is such a workhorse. Yeah. He wants this so bad, he's going to keep working so hard. And when you put that in combination, as you've said, you know, you add a jump shot to his game, the way that he showed, yeah. you got to think he really can be formidable if he can There's stay. no question, and he's one of these rare players that like, like I said in the first hour that he can he's a 20 and 10 guy off energy and effort which is scary so you add that other dimension of being able to shoot play making quick second jump if he can stay healthy I don't know about this year but the, the, the definitely a bright future I'm telling you that the risk is high though I mean those plays that we show he landed on one foot like over 10 times last night over 10 times he's the third heaviest player in the NBA yeah. behind Concerning. Boban and Taco Fall and those guys aren't athletic those guys can't shoot threes and those guys don't have the height that Zion has, yet he exceeded it in his first game. Really let's, impressive. Let's get to football, guys. And we're talking Super Bowl. This one to see all you guys there. Hey, Zion Williamson made his debut last night in the NBA. Matt Barnes and Jay Will here. He got hot in the fourth quarter. Jay, he started to go off and from three. Look, if Zion Williamson is making threes, then everybody in the world is going to have a problem. That's the one lost trait of his game that needs to improve. So here you see him getting it done closer to the rim. And on the Pelicans' next possession, Alvin Gentry's thinking about subbing Zion out, but then he continues to stay hot. So, Matt, he says, no, I'm keeping him in the game. I mean, it's a tough situation. Obviously, Al wants to win the game, but he wants to protect Zion. So I, I think he was stuck in the matrix for about a two-minute span where he wanted to sub him out, but he was playing so well he couldn't. Matt, you said earlier in the show, Zion's fourth quarter is one of the best we've ever seen from a rookie. Just this stretch of minutes. Yes. What are you seeing here? I just think considering the circumstances, you know, I mean, he had a rough first three quarters. He finally gets some minutes, gets some rhythm, and you just he shows 
the potential of what he can be and the fact that he's actually shooting these threes with mm. consistency and, and confidence is going to be scary. 17 straight points for Zion. The Pelicans would take the lead, but then they took him out of the game and so the Pelicans lost the game. <laughs> Either way, it was fun to see him finally in the NBA, J. Will, and we see those highlights and the flash plays, but if you're David Griffin watching this mm -hmm. game, uh. what kind of roller coaster are you on? I mean, you jump out of your seat and at the same time, you're biting your fingernails. And Zion Williamson is so special, but these are some things that you see if you're David Griffin when you're paying attention. First off, coming off this screen, you're going to see the shot goes up. Zion Williamson just standing straight up. You have Jacoperto who's going to run to the basket. You have other players who are just staring at the fire of the ball. Now, here's